What's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. Super excited to be on this final message of 2020, okay? Because man, 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 we have seen some crazy things happening this year, all right? To say the least. And this this year literally has been either an ultimate blessing for some but also been an ultimate curse for so many people, for so many people. And I wanted to give a final message, final words of encouragement to just leave 2020, going into 2021, fired up to go after anything that you want to go after. All right. So we're going to let Facebook do its thing, uh, bring on some people. So we can check this out because I really want to share this message with you guys because this is something that was on my heart, something that was on my mind. I was like, you know what? Let me get one final message before we get to it, man. So check. We're going to check it out. Hold up real quick. All right. Hold your thoughts. Cool. All right. So check it out, man. Y'all see it in the title. And this is something that I had to, this is something I had to learn the hard way. And it says there, guys, listen, you have to be selfish to become selfless. Let me say that one more time. You might want to write this down. You have to become selfish. You have to be selfish to become selfless. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a phrase that they say, right? You can't help others unless you help yourself. And if you're like me and you have a big heart, the first thing that you think about is everybody else but yourself, right? You think about everybody else. If everybody else is good, you will sacrifice time, money, and energy for everybody else, putting your feelings, your morals sometimes to the side to make sure everybody else is good, right? But then when you come back, who got your back, right? Who is there to have your back when it's time for you to deal with your own personal problems, okay? So, oh yeah, let me show y'all. My daughter, she made me this. My little 10-year-old, she makes these little bracelets. I've been rocking this bracelet. I love this bracelet. I don't know. I've been saying. <laughs> anyways, I know y'all been kind of seeing it there. Y'all probably wondered what it was. So I want to show y'all. So, anyways, but you have to be you have to be selfish to become selfless. And and that's the one thing that I had to learn over the years, man. Like I always put people before myself, man. There were things that I wanted to do in life that I would put on hold, like, because I wanted to help somebody else and make sure they was good. Maybe I had money to invest into something, but somebody went through a hard time and I was like, bam, let me, let me help them out. Let me get them some money. Or maybe they was going through some relationship problems they needed me. Boom, I'm on the phones, like making sure they're good, trying to build up their spirits. Like I always been the person to put everybody else before myself. But then I always sacrifice things that I wanted, putting off things that I wanted um, just to make sure everybody else is good. And, and for the first time in my life, you know what I'm saying? I decided to focus on me and what I wanted for me and my family. You know, I took that time. I fell back from a lot of people um, just to do it. It wasn't to say that I didn't care about them or I didn't love them or whatever, but I wasn't in a position to be able to go out and, and really help anybody else because I needed to help myself. And, and, and guys, I encourage you to do that. If you're a person like me that has a big heart, that always want to put people before yourself, I ask you to pump the brakes and just say to yourself, you know what? What, what do I want? Am I achieving the things that I want right now? Am I where I want to be at? If not, you need to take the time to focus on you. You got to focus on you because I'm going to tell you this much. You are going to be more of a help or more of a resource to others if you are in a more happy, joyous place in your life. You're going to be able to extend yourself to people more often than you can right now if there are things that you haven't dealt with in your life. So once again, guys, I'm telling you, you have to be selfish to become selfless because then that way when you put yourself in a position to be able to empower other people you are now being able to truly empower those people you you will be able to give without thinking about receiving or losing out on anything 
And that's something I had to learn. I had to fall back from a lot of people. I had to, you know what I'm saying, just like cut a lot of people off. And I had to stay grounded and stay focused. In the moment, it's the hardest decision to make in your life when you have to step back from people who can't help you grow or get where you're trying to go. So I ended up having to do that and connect with other people and start learning things to get myself up. And now that I'm in a position where things are truly happening for me, I've been able to reach back out and help other people along the way, whether it's been through, you know, my do spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, like I'm like I'm at a place in my life where I feel a joy that I haven't felt in so long. Like I've been happy at certain points in my life. You know, I've been excited about things. But this joy that I feel within my soul is like unexplainable to be able to do the things that I'm doing now, like for my family, my family is good, but to be able to serve other people and be able to empower other people along the way, like it's just a whole different feeling because it's something I didn't have within myself from before. And I may ha have had it. I just never tapped into it. And now, like, it's so crazy because going into 2021, things are going to start elevating a lot more. And I'm definitely going to be able to help so many more families. It's just an excitement. But, guys, I'm telling you, sometimes you got to you got to pump the brakes and you got to be selfish. And as crazy as it sounds, I'm not saying that, oh, you got to think you better than anybody. But sometimes you got to take that time for you. What do you want out of life? What are you trying to, to achieve? When do you want to achieve these things? Set your goals up. Write them down. Get fired up, guys. Because this year, I'm telling 2020 is the year of lessons learned. And if you go into 2021 with the same old habits, the same mindset, right? It's not going to change nothing. I don't want to hear you guys saying what your resolution going to be because just because the year changes doesn't mean that your circumstances are automatically going to change because it's a new year. You got to get out here and you got to make it happen. And it all starts right here. If you go into 2020 with them same limiting beliefs that you believe that you broke and you can't achieve that and that's too expensive and you can't go on them trips and you can't live in that house and you always saying these type of things and you, that's what you take in that baggage that you take in into 2021, you won't get what you always got. 2021 ain't gonna look no different than 2020 for you. And after this year, man, so many people losing jobs losing homes, struggling, just trying to get by, man. It's it's time. It's time. Listen, in 2021, guys, I am not playing no games. I am bringing a message to you guys, opportunity to you guys, and it's going to be up to you to step outside your comfort zone to say, hey, like this may be something I should be getting myself into. For the first time in my life, I finally have a team around me, an opportunity that is recession proof, something that has been helping people win through this pandemic, including myself, that I ain't been stressing about it. I ain't been worried about no stimulus check coming. I ain't been worried about none of that. Like that money, if it comes to me, is extra money that I'm probably going to use to pay it for for somebody else to help another family out because I don't need it for my bills because we've been good. We ahead on bills. We moving toward buying a house next year. Like we are setting ourselves up. So that extra money is just an extra blessing I'm going to use to bless somebody else. That's simply what it is. But I'm not banking on that money. That's not in my budget. But there's a lot of people I'm trying to pull away from being dependent on these jobs in the government that I'm trying to put in position to be able to do so much more. You know what I'm saying? Because I decided to be selfish 
so I could become selfless, become a selfless leader so that way I could truly start putting other people before myself, that I could truly start serving other people because I'm a man of my faith and I'm not afraid to say it. And I put God first in everything that I do. So every decision that I make is God led. So if I can lead other people just like God has led me through so many opportunities in my, so many obstacles in my life, things that I didn't think that I would ever come back from, times that I wanted to give up and God never gave up on me. He's instilling that in me to come to every one of these videos, to every city I travel to, every place that I go to be able to impact somebody's life just from a simple hello, a handshake, just to say, hey guys, let me show you something. Let me show you something better. God knew what he was doing when he gave me this information. A guy that, like myself, that lost his parents at a young age and had to get it from the mud. I didn't have nobody around me to tell me what to do. I had to figure things out on my own. And God let me go through it. But he brought me through every single obstacle that I had to go through in life to be in position today to be able to come back and serve other people. To bless other people like he has blessed me and my family. And I promise you guys... That everything that I put on my page, every message, everything that I share with you is 1000% real. Before I come out on these videos on any of my platforms, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, right? Whether it be Instagram, whatever, everything that I put out and anybody that know who I am that has followed me will vouch for the fact that I'm one of the realest people on the internet. I'm one of the realest ones. Because I decided to do something different than other entrepreneurs and start telling the truth. Giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of this industry to help you make an informed decision on if this industry could be for you. Okay? I'm one of the realest ones. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, the time is now. But it was because I finally, for the first time in my life, I decided to be selfish for me and my family and get us right. So that way I could become a selfless leader. Okay. So once again, guys, when I tell you that, I want you guys to feel that when I tell you that you got to be selfish to become selfless. Okay. That means you got to focus on you. You got to get yourself right. You got to make sure your family good. You got to make sure you feeling good, that you got that joy, that you can feel it in your soul before you can go out there and empower somebody else to be able to do the same thing and feel the same way. And that's what I'm excited about because I've been through it. And God has led me to this point to feel a joy that I have never felt in my life. I've been happy before. I've been excited before. But this joy that I feel up in here can't be controlled, can't be taken away from me, can't nobody deter me or Make me take a detour from this joy that I feel because I know what it feel like to struggle, but I know what it feel like to win. And I want to get people to the point of feeling what it feels like to win for once in their life. Because I'm tired of seeing people being dependent on uh, dependent on this government that's using these stimulus checks as goddamn bait to back and forth, getting, giving up people's hope while they still got bills piling up. I want to put you in position to where that money that the government sent you was nothing but extra money, play money that you could bless somebody else, maybe take a trip or do something, but not to pay your bills. It's game time. I'm not playing no more. I'm not playing no more. So if you coming across my page, you coming across my videos, understand this. Oh, y'all about to get hit with the fire. If y'all ain't dancing and caught the Holy Ghost when you leave my videos, I ain't do my job. But I'm here to tell you guys, that is my message for today. Is that you got to be selfish to become selfless. I couldn't be here where I am today sharing this message with you guys, helping as many families as I've been able to help if I didn't be selfish first and focus on me and my family and make sure we was good in position for me to be selfless enough to lead you guys. Woo! Man, I'm on fire. I was going to end the year on a positive note and a positive message. I hope y'all feel me from here, right? Hope y'all feel me from here, man. I just want to say, guys, 2020 was the year of lessons learned. 2021 is the year of execution. The year of execution. Taking what you learn 
putting a game plan together and executing that game plan to come out on top. Let's make it happen, all right? So I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that's been rocking with me over 2020. Get ready for 2021. My YouTube channel is up. Got many videos on there. I'm going to be probably revamping and doing some things on there to really bring more value to you guys. Uh, man, for everybody that's been following me on, on my new Facebook page, I appreciate you guys because early in the year, my other Facebook page got shut down. So you guys been rocking with me on these videos and sharing them and all of this stuff. And I truly, truly appreciate you guys for the support. But next year, stay tuned because it is about to get real. And I'm telling you right now, if you are tired of chasing after these opportunities that overpromise and underdeliver, you're tired of these leaders that are faking it till they make it just to get you on board or whatever the case, all I'm telling you is hit me up. Because if you give me 90 days of your time, 90 days of your time and follow exactly what I'm telling you, I guarantee you, you ain't going to have to worry about money again. Real talk. And I say that with the utmost confidence. Okay? With that being said, y'all enjoy your night. Happy New Year's Eve. Let's go into 2021 ready to rock and roll. Okay? Love you guys. God bless. We're going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.